Hello everyone. Today in the series of Dogplexus interviews, we have with us Dr. Mark Melov, who is the president of the Australian and New Zealand Society of Phlebology, past vice president of the International Union of Phlebology. He has close links with the European Venus Forum, the French Society of Phlebology, the Venus Association of India, and the American College of Phlebology. His expertise is in all aspects of Venus diseases. Thank you, Dr. Mark, for joining us. Pleasure. Our today's topic of discussion is the important factors to consider when formulating a treatment plan for your varicose patients. Dr. Mark, let us start with the interview. So, how does the heredity plan play the role in the varicose patient? What are the chances of one getting varicose veins if one of the parents is suffering from the same? Well. It is a hereditary disease. Varicose veins is definitely hereditary. Yeah. We are working out the genetics of that, but it's not exactly worked out. Mm -hmm. But you can simply say that the children of varicose vein sufferers have a significantly higher chance of getting it. Okay. And if they take precautions to avoid it, that would be better. Because in a family, say, of three, one of them is going to get the veins from the parents. Okay, so what are the different treatment of options available to treat the patient with varicose? Well, for large varicose veins, we want to destroy those veins. And the idea is you can destroy them chemically with some injections. Okay. You can destroy them thermally mm -hmm. with some heat, some devices inside the vein to burn them closed. You can destroy them chem uh, surgically by taking them out. Okay. And also you can put some glue in there to glue them together. So there's many, many choices of treatment. Okay, that's interesting. So, can you explain the criteria for the selection of the appropriate therapy in various populations like older people, mm -hmm. pregnant women, etc.? Yes. Um, firstly, it's the severity of the veins, the size, the amount of disease you are dealing with. Yeah. It would mean less injections and more perhaps surgery or burning or glue. Elderly people, they don't want to look like movie stars, they just want the disease controlled. So you would do something less severe. Yeah. Uh, new young mothers with good looking legs that want to keep them looking good, we have to treat even the spider veins. Yeah. So you would take care of the, the large ones first and then continue with the injection treatment to the spider veins. Mm -hmm. And you can improve, you cannot cure it, but you can improve it a great deal. Okay, so why there is an elevated risk of varicose in a pregnant woman? Pregnancy produces three effects. One is the hormones change, the hormones that allow the veins to dilate. Okay. Two, the cardiac output, the heart is pumping faster and faster, so more blood is circulating in the veins, so the veins stretch. Mm -hmm. And the third is the pressure of the enlarging baby. Putting pressure on the veins in the abdomen meaning that the pressure in the legs okay. causes the veins to enlarge. So it's significant, three factors. Okay, so how effective is the compression stockings in the management of the disease? Compression stockings is a very important uh, non-interventional treatment. Okay. It controls symptoms, it controls swelling, mm -hmm. and for the time that they are on, they are excellent, but they are not a permanent control. Mm -hmm. They control symptoms and swelling, and enable the patient to do what they want to do, but it doesn't actually fix mm -hmm. the problem. Okay. So can you suggest some tips to prevent the disease in an early stage? Well, when I'm seeing young patients yeah. with the beginnings of veins because they inherit them, mm -hmm. I say to them about their weight, avoid getting too, too much weight on, avoid a standing occupation, keep up your regular exercise, and when practical, wearing some support stockings, even light support. Yeah. But taking these lifestyle choices in the face of genetics, mm -hmm. which you can't do anything about, these lifestyle improvements or maintaining good, good lifestyle mm -hmm. will slow the disease down. It won't prevent it. Okay. So, Dr. Mark, would you like to share any exclusive message for the Docplexus team? Well, this message is more for the doctors treating veins and that is a proper assessment 
with the duplex ultrasound to know exactly the pathology. Then with the wide range of treatment, you can discuss which of those aspects of treatment you would use for that patient. But the initial assessment is crucial. Thank you so much, Dr. Mark, for sharing your views with us. I'm sure our viewers will enjoy this discussion. Thank you. Great pleasure. Thank you.